You wanna know what's brighter, I wanna know what's brighter, everybody wants to know what's brighter. Can an LED headlight bulb be brighter than HID? In this video, we're taking the benchmark of automotive lighting with an HID kit and testing it against five popular LED headlight bulbs. Let's find out. Normally with these kind of videos, I'll spend a bunch of time doing the testing before we film so I know what to tell you in this part of the video. That's not the case this time. I wanted to be just as surprised as you are. The way this is gonna go is I've got a projector headlight and a reflector headlight. I've got the original halogen bulb, a Morimoto 35 watt HID kit, 55 watt HID kit, the SV4 LED headlight bulbs, the GTR Lighting Ultra 2, LED headlight bulbs, the Opt7 Flux Beam V2, the Morimoto Two Stroke 2, and the Dio Dynamics SL1. We're gonna test them all. We're gonna use a digital lux meter and show you which one's brighter. Now, generally speaking, most people believe that an HID conversion kit is gonna be the brightest option, especially a 55 watt. And until today, I have never tested an LED headlight bulb that's brighter than 55 watt HID. I still don't know if one of these is gonna be brighter, so we're gonna find out. Now, for the colors on the HID kit, we went with a 6500K. That's kind of a cool blue-white color. Now, I went with that color because, generally speaking, everybody makes their LED bulbs in that color. I didn't wanna give the HID an unfair advantage by going with a more warmer color like 5000K. If you watch our other video about HID colors, you'll see that a 5000K 55 watt HID is the brightest HID option. So for this test, I wanna keep it all on a level playing field. They're all in the same color temperature, just different bulb types. Before we start the test, let's talk about Lux. Now, I didn't talk about the different lumen ratings of the different products because realistically, we're not really sure who's telling the truth and who's lying. Some are gonna be 3000 lumen, Others are gonna be 12,000 lumen. And it's anybody's guess which one's actually brighter. So instead of talking about the manufacturer's rated specs, we're gonna start with a control. The first bulb we're gonna test is the halogen headlight bulb. This tells us how bright your headlights are now. And Lux is the actual real world brightness at a certain point. So we're gonna use a digital Lux meter at the same distance between our headlight and the wall for every single product. You're gonna be able to see how much brighter the HID and the LED bulbs are to stock and each other. The OEM halogen bulb comes in at 407, maximum lux at 25 feet. Now let's try the other bulbs without changing a thing. The 6500K 35 watt Morimoto HID kit comes in at 1,254, maximum lux. The Morimoto 55 watt HID kit comes in at 2000 maximum lux. Our first LED headlight bulb to test is the SV4. This very popular option comes in at 1425 maximum lux. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 LED bulbs come in at 1867 maximum lux. The Opt7 Flux Beam V2 comes in at 831 maximum lux. The Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0 LED headlight bulb comes in at 940 maximum lux. The Dio Dynamics SL1 comes in at 1238 maximum lux. Now let's do the same test in a projector headlight. Here we have the beam from a 2018 Toyota Tacoma, and it's pretty typical for a projector style headlight. With the original halogen headlight bulb, we measured 481 maximum lux. The Morimoto 35 watt HID comes in at only 484 maximum lux. Such a tiny increase. You can fix that by going with a warmer color. Now we're talking, the Morimoto 55 watt HID kit comes in at 825 maximum lux. Here's 
the first LED bulb we're testing in this projector type headlight, the SV4 coming in at 1001 maximum lux. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 LED headlight bulb comes in at 1140 maximum lux. The Opt7 Flux Beam V2 comes in at 261 maximum lux. The Morimoto 2 Stroke 2.0 comes in at 366 lux. The Dow Dynamics SL1 comes in at 633 maximum lux. That is not what I was expecting. What a weird test. What did you think about the difference between the reflector and the projector? How crazy is it that just with a different type of headlight housing, you're gonna get different results on different lighting technology? If you want my recommendation, it's pretty simple. The results speak for themselves. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2, the SV4, and a 55 watt HID kit were the brightest. You can't just go with one size fits all type products and that's why at Headlight Revolution we test. If you want to see the other testing videos that we do, go check out our channel and subscribe so you don't miss the next video we come out with for LED or HID headlight bulbs.